What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. I'm Katia. The last lesson of 2020 is going to be very different. Today, we're not going to learn new vocabulary or break down grammar structures. Instead, I want to talk about the series I've watched so far this academic course. I watch series in English every single day. Not only do they help me improve my listening skills, but also my speaking ones. And I wanted to make this video now because many of you are on Christmas holidays and you may want to watch a new series. So in case you don't know what to see, here go my nine recommendations. Are you ready? If so, grab some popcorn and let's kick off. So the first series I watched back in September was Away. It's about a manned mission to Mars, led by Emma Green, played by Hilary Swank. I've been always into space and NASA. I enjoyed watching movies like Interstellar, Arrival, Gravity or The Martian. The idea that there is so much more beyond our planet gives me a kind of freedom and makes my daily problems seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things. The message I got from the series is that you need to fight to the end and never give up. As for English, I think it's a great series because here you can find both the American accent and the British one. I liked the series so much that I've seen it twice. So if space is your thing, I'm sure you'll like the series. After having watched Away, I saw Mars, which is a mix of fiction and a documentary. It was made by National Geographic and it's based on the book How We Live on Mars by Stephen Petron. So on the one hand, it's about a group of astronauts that land on Mars and about their problems and struggles to colonize the Red Planet. On the other hand, it includes real interviews with people who are working on a mission to Mars, like Elon Musk, whose ambition is to build a human settlement on the Red Planet. So the idea that I could see it happen in my lifetime makes me very excited and happy. So if you are into space and more specifically into Mars, don't miss this TV show. Following the topic of space, Salvation is about an asteroid that will impact the Earth in six months and it's about effort and attempts to prevent it from happening. I loved the eccentric character of Darius Thames, played by Santiago Cabrera. I think it's a very entertaining series and I had a very good time watching it. Leaving Space Behind, as you may know, Emily in Paris was very trendy and I jumped on the bandwagon. I'm aware that it's controversial because of its multiple cliches, but personally, I liked it. It's nothing profound, but it's great to relax. Now I want to talk a little bit about why I liked this series. First, it's the setting. It was filmed in Paris and the views are stunning. Secondly, the series has to do with fashion and I liked Emily's colorful outfits, such as handbags and accessories. Another reason is that it reminded me of the movie The Devil Wears Prada. It's very modern and fresh and it covers social networks like Instagram, influencers and all this world. And last but not least, Emily is a fighter. She works hard to overcome all the problems and difficulties she runs into. And the message I got here is that everything is achievable and doable if you're passionate about what you do. 
And if there is someone from France, I would like to know what you think of the series and if you enjoyed it, despite its cliches. I've also watched the last season of Modern Family. I've been watching this series for many, many years and watching the last episode was very emotional and I even cried because I knew that it was the last one. The last season was as funny as usual. I laughed a lot watching it and I think I'm gonna see it again. So the fourth season of Somebody Feed Phil visits five places. Rio de Janeiro, Mississippi Delta, San Francisco, Hawaii and Singapore. From all these places, I've only been to Singapore, but it was very short because it was a layover when I was flying to Australia. So when the COVID is over, I would like to visit all these cities and try and sample its local cuisine. So guys, if you love traveling and you are a foodie, don't miss this amazing TV show. This mini-series is different and special. It's based on the novel by Walter Tevis and it tells a story of a female chess prodigy in the 50s and 60s. What I liked about the series is that it's thought-provoking and it made me think about different things. One of them is that you need to pursue your dreams, that you can achieve anything regardless of your social status. And another thing is that everything is figureoutable, that you can overcome any problem you might encounter. And in this case, it has to do with getting over addictions. And one more thing, it teaches you that sometimes you need to accept other people's help and shows you the importance of working in a team. All in all, I think it's such an inspiring and brilliant story. I've seen the second season of Virgin River. I enjoyed this season as much as the first one. It's very sweet, the scenery is beautiful and the actors are great. And I'm very happy because the third season is confirmed. So if you like love stories, I'm sure this series is your cup of tea. And last but not least, This Is Us. It took me a while to get around to watching this series. Some of my students had recommended it to me, but it wasn't until one of them told me that it was the best series she has seen. So it made me watch it straight away and I'm so glad I did. It was a real discovery for me. It's about the Pearson family's generational story. It's beautifully told, mixing the past, present and the future. I don't usually watch drama, but this series is so touching and moving. It's about family relationships, universal problems, and you can easily relate to its characters. I remember crying a lot when watching this series. The script is magnificent. So long story short, I would recommend this series to anyone. Don't miss this gem. And This Is Us is available on Amazon unlike the previous series that can be found on Netflix. And if you haven't signed up for the Amazon Prime, you can have a 30-day free trial by clicking on the link in the description box. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of lesson and found my recommendations useful. I'd like to know what series you're watching at the moment please let me know in the comments below. And last summer, I made another video with my favorite series on Netflix. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out right here. And of course, I want to wish you Happy New Year. 
let all your dreams come true, be happy, enjoy the little things, and of course, keep learning English. And please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. Thank you for having watched this video and see you in 2021. Ciao for now!